Hi, Kel. How are you going? I'm good, thank you. Driving across Canada, eh? Yes, very cool. Beautiful sunny day. Interesting name of Canada. Name is Well, guys, hope you like listening to my little friend from Australia, Kelly. I just listened to that. It's been about two weeks and I'm still a cloner. My little friend Kelly from Australia's gone. I think she thinks I'm a bit too crazy and wild for her. So she cleared off to Seattle. Still friends, though. And uh, we're out at the local football, the Okanagan Sun. And this is, uh, if you don't know me, Mick, Mick Ozzy, the football reporter. And in the background, we've got the Okanagan Sun. And uh, they're taking on, don't know who this week, but next week they're taking on Abbotsford in Kelowna, British Columbia, for the Gawler South boys, this is Australia away from home, man. It's hot, it's unreal. Babes everywhere. Bloody sun's a great name, because, uh, oh, great weather out here, boys. Best place in the world. Anyway, rumour has it, from Footy Bob in the bar at Dakota's, and Brian, journo, Mr. Columnist Brian, and uh, Bob, that the few boys come back for another year because they reckon they're a big chance for the premiership this year well, the, uh, super... well I just met super coach over here Lawrence Nagy even spotted the crocodile a minute ago good run fella That's it, the boys. Just like back home, boys. Used to do this Aussie rules all the time. Oh, Alan, he's the biggest fella on the team. There he goes. Have a look at him. Oh, what was his name? Eric Allen. Eric Allen. <laughs> Galloping gasometer. <laughs> the Sun versus the Abbotsford Air Force boys. And there'll be a bit of uh, a few crocodiles on there, hopefully. So <laughs> I'll get a bit of fun next week. Hunting down some crocodiles in Kelowna, BC. <laughs> oh, and uh, we're not crocodile hunting where well, we are, but there's been a mystery sighting of the Holy Grail in Canada, the Stanley Cup. And me and my mate Les here at the hot dog bar of the OK Grill in Kelowna. We've heard that the Stanley Cup is in town, so I'm going to go and have a bit of a look. The Holy Grail of Canada. Thank you.
there's a little bonus for my first footy show with the, uh, three, 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 the hockey, the Stanley Cup on the Thursday night. Well, it's Saturday okay, and we're down three, at the football. Three, first of the double header is UBC versus University of Alberta. And then we've got the big game coming up, Okanagan Sun versus Abbotsford Air Force. Thanks, Andrew. UBC with the ball. Oh, bad luck. Good attempt, fella. Alberta with the ball. Here we go. Pass off the running back. Oh, yeah. Good play. You can see. There we go, boys. The crocodiles. So we're back, back to the game, Okanagan Sun versus the uh, Abbotsford Air Force. I'm a little bit late, I got stuck down at Dakota's chasing those uh, barmaids, but Bob's probably a bit worried I'm not here yet, but uh, we'll be right. Anyway, the uh, Sun are winning. There you go, they're the boys that interviewed me yesterday, Power 104 FM. There you go boys, the Okanagan Sun cheer girls. Oh, Bob's well, beat me on the inside track. I'm going around the outside and uh, he's just beating me at the moment. But I'll catch him. These boys, uh, hey Bob, these boys look like the Oakland Raiders. They don't play like No. <laughs> Zippy, who we got over here? I don't know, it's uh... a... <laughs> it's a clock, is it? It's a clock at all. Cheers. Don't think you look like an elf. This is fair. Ziffy Power 104 FM. Outside of the studio. How? There's this woman. The washroom. This woman comes flying out of there and comes up into the stands. She's complaining because somebody's peed in the purse holder. <laughs> and she's mad. She's really upset because somebody's taken a leak in the purse holder. Which, of course, wasn't really a purse holder. It was the urinal for the men. But she was upset, and I think her purse was wet. <laughs> oh, yes. Good shit coming near me. Oh, yeah. Great run, fella. First and ten. Oh yes. Got a great ride up in the paper about two weeks ago. And I tell you what, he hasn't made too many mistakes tonight. Three great plays in a row. First and ten at the thirty-two. Oh, this Silverman, yes. Was it a goal? No. Nope. Missed. Jeez, he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, good run. Three things. Oh, I'm telling you. Right, Alison, come back. Well, they like running the ball, these boys. Good run just a minute ago as well. They're the running team. <laughs> this is what uh, Ziggy was saying was the, um, what do you say, the purse holder or something. Where's your mate? Where's your mate, Dirt Man? He's in Texas. Is he? Dallas. No, he you know, he's gone to Mexico. Oh, he's gone to Dallas. No. No, I can verify no. it. I can verify it. He could actually... Well, him and his Dirt Mum have gone down there, so they may be the most wanted criminals down there. Really? Hey, buddy, what do you reckon of the waitresses at Dakota? Oh, let's not even get into that. Well, we're up in the press box. Everyone's wondering who the hell is press box for the Okanagan Sun game. Get good coverage for the world, I don't know, 
game's over and the Sun Boys won. 64-31. That's a good win to the Sun. Okay, it's Sunday after a great win by the Okanagan Sun. Just looking at the uh, yearbook, well produced and looking at some of the players from yesterday's great win. Uh, there's no doubt Zach, Sim Zach Silverman, the quarterback, and his two receivers uh, did a fantastic job. The third quarter was great football. So um, it's the end of uh, Mick's Sunday footy show. The, uh, well, the Stanley Cup, drinking out of that cup was an absolute highlight. And uh, watching the boys play footy yesterday, fantastic win.